Good morning. It's preschool steam time. Hi, it's Miss Jenny again. I wanted to share some things with you about Earth Day. Earth Day is on Wednesday, April 22nd, which is this week. So God gives us a beautiful world to enjoy with plants and birds and butterflies and animals that we can enjoy all over. But he also gives us the responsibility of taking care of that earth. So I wanted to see if we, today our challenge is to build a truffula tree, like in the Lorax. If you have that book at home, go ahead and, and read it together. If you don't have the book at home, you can always find it on YouTube. There's lots of different readings of it. Um, I personally didn't even have that one at home. It's at school. So um, I couldn't read it to you today. But I did make some truffle trees. And then we're going to build one together in a minute. Okay? So, look, I built one out of Duplos. I used foam dice to build one. I used foam blocks. I used sponges. I even used some Easter eggs to make one. And then I'm going to show you later on how I'm going to use some, some spools that used to have thread on them to build them. So what you need to build a truffle tree is any kind of block. Some tall, skinny blocks. I'm going to use these spools that used to have thread on them. Um, you could use foam dice, you can use foam blocks, you can use duplo blocks, you can use wooden blocks, you can use colored blocks, you can use any kind of block. You could even use boxes at home if your mom and dad let you, okay? So you need that, then you need a flat box, or a flat block, or maybe even just a, this is just a foam um, sponge. You could use that on the top if mom and dad have some extra sponges they'd let you play with. And then you need a cotton ball or a pom-pom or something fun for on the top, okay? All right, so I'm going to give you a minute so you can go gather your supplies. Go ahead and hit pause, and when you're ready, you can come back and we'll build it together. See you soon! All right, boys and girls, did you get all your stuff? Are you ready to go? All right, I'm going to build one with spools, I told you. These used to have thread on them, and I used on my on my sewing machine. These are really old ones that are wooden, and I colored them to make them pretty. But... So I'm going to stack them. Are you ready? I'm going to stack one, two, three. They're even different sizes. Four. And then I, should I use the, the sponge or the block? Uh, what do you think? Sponges make good blocks. Should we put them like that? <gasps> you like that? Or do you like this one better? What do you think? Ooh, it wiggled. And then you got to put your pom-pom on the top just to finish it off and make it look beautiful. All right, boys and girls, look at my truffle tree. I have lots of them here, but today I want you to build a truffle tree and I want you to take a picture and send it to your teachers or to Miss Bridget or to Miss Jenny so that we can see it and we can put it in the newsletter because it's always fun. Now the I. The purpose of this STEAM challenge is to teach you to strengthen your muscles and your fingers and your hand-eye coordination as you stack them tall. And also it teaches you about cause and effect and balance because look, I had to balance that big block on top of those skinny blocks. And it also teaches you to, to explore and try new things. Because if I had tried to put this block on here, say like this, <gasps> It would have fallen, but that's okay, because we'll try again. Look, I'll try it again. And if that block's too big, I can always try my smaller block. See? You can always try it again. And building is like that, and you get to experiment and try and see what works and see solve problems. That's all about engineering, is all about solving problems. The engineers that build our roads solve problems. The engineers who build builds towns or build buildings solve problems. It's all about um, solving a problem and taking it and making it work so that everyone can be safe. And that's what we do when we build with blocks too. We want to build safely so that everyone can be safe in a way that that will solve a problem like if we the challenge is to be able to build a tree how can you build a tree count the blocks that's math and 
creatively, you're building something that looks different than anyone else's because it's your truffle tree. And, and so we're doing math, engineering, science with exploring with cause and effect, um, math in counting and art when we're building 3d art so it's super fun also today when you're out in or today or tomorrow when the rain stops you can go outside and you can look for different kinds of trees in my backyard I have beech trees and oak trees and maple trees and pine trees and sweet gum trees and you can see all kinds of fun trees and if you don't go there maybe you want to go for a walk in a park with mom and dad that would be fun too if there aren't trees in your backyard but I bet almost all of you have trees or plants in the backyard that you can look at and enjoy God's creation and make sure to say thank you to God for taking good care giving us a beautiful world to enjoy and for taking care of those plants and animals and then remember that he gives you that responsibility too to take good care of our earth because he it's a blessing from him now, Wednesday is Earth Day, so make sure you do something that's good for the Earth. Maybe you could pick up trash, if because the trash always goes in the garbage, right? Not on the ground. Maybe you could build a recycling center at your home. We're going to do that next week for sure. Maybe you could look for recycling symbols in your home. Maybe you could plant a garden. Maybe you could water the garden. Maybe you could help your mom and dad with flowers. Think of some things that you can do for Earth Day that will make our world a better place. All right, we'll see you next week for our next preschool steam time. Bye, guys.